Welcome to the newest series from Sailing Doodles. This is Boat Tour Tuesday, where we show you the boats that we come across in our travels and introduce you to the cruisers that sail them. So if you enjoy this kind of content, please give us a like and a comment down below and we'll keep this series going. Although we primarily focus on sailboats, we made friends on a motor yacht and we thought we'd give you a look. This is a 58-foot Katie Krogan motor yacht. The name of the boat is Real Dreams. Hi, I'm Bud on the motor vessel Real Dreams. I'm Marilyn Reese, his wife. And I'm Janice Reese, Marilyn's sister. I'm from Fresno, California, born and raised, had a family business in Fresno and had a dream to buy a boat and travel around the world all my life since I was about nine or 10 years old, first time I saw the ocean. So I just been saving money and getting ready and getting ready and getting ready. And finally I got an opportunity to do it. So Marilyn and I bought uh, this boat in Stewart, Florida about four years ago and we've been driving around ever since. Well, originally, I wanted to retire at like 50. I didn't get the opportunity to do that. It was uh, deprived, let's just say. My boat changed from looking at sailboats to power boats. And I read a book by a guy named B.B. called Cruising Under Power. And he talks about the engineering and so on. And so I started to research boats they call passage makers. Two most popular ones are Nordhaven and Katie Krogan. This is a Katie Krogan. They both have their strong points. I'm more of a mechanical oriented guy so uh, I don't have a center uh, master suite but I do have two main engines so uh, you know it's just uh, give and take. It's a 58 foot Katie Krogan, it's got an 18 and a half foot beam, it's uh, 73 gross tons, very heavy, has stabilizers, low center of gravity, a lot of lead in the keel. It's a very seaworthy boat. I can go over 3,000 miles on less than 1,600 gallons. 20 years ago when we met, he introduced me, said said that he was gonna buy a boat, go around the world, and I went, oh, yeah, right. Well, anyway, it happened, <laughs> it happened, and so now we are traveling all over, We've done the Atlantic Ocean, and now we're doing the Pacific Ocean, and it's been fabulous. We've had a great crew. I've seen a lot of, a lot of history, and met a lot of wonderful people, and it's just been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And it, I gave up a beautiful ranch and came on this boat and thought, oh wow, this is not going to be great, but it is great. I have a wonderful kitchen. I do all the cooking, cleaning. I'm the I'm the cleaning lady, and she's the grease monkey. <laughs> and so anyway, we get along great. It's, it, we could never plan this to happen to have my sister aboard, and uh, we're off and floating. My husband passed away. It will be a year this year. I mean, this month, and. They asked me if I would like to come aboard and help them see, cruise the South Pacific. I mean, you can't give up an opportunity like that. So anyway, I came aboard, knew nothing about boating. I've become Bud's, uh, I would say, maybe right-hand man. We've put right at 45,000 miles on it since we got it. We're gonna knock around Fiji for at least two, three months go out and just anchor off and go visiting different places and then get down to New Zealand, get Bubba checked in, which will take 10 to 30 days again in Auckland. And then, uh, then it'll be spring so we can work our way down into the South, South Island and go see the fjords and that stuff. And this is Bubba. He's the real captain of the ship. Here's his potty pad back here and he's, he, he uses it, doesn't like it, but he wants the real grass. But he's, he's very good. He does not go to the bathroom on the boat inside of nothing. He's a great watchdog. Nobody's coming on our boat without him jumping off the bed, barking, screaming. So he's, he's, our, he's our second captain. <laughs> and he loves the boat, but I think he's a little tired of it now because he hasn't been off with it for almost two months. <laughs> it's been a wonderful venture. Like I said, we've met so many wonderful people. Everybody's just, it's like a big family when you're yachting. We'll start the tour on the bridge. There's two of everything. Everything's redundant. We have some, some places four. We have two inverters. I have two uh, water pumps for fresh water. I have two uh, hydraulic pumps for the hydraulic system. Uh, two navigation systems on a switch you can change between the Furuno and the Rose Point and the computer. It's 
It's a simple bridge for the reefs and everything. I use uh, Ovatol maps on the iPad and open CPN with a venture further so you can see where the actual passages are because your charts are so far off. It's a comfortable boat. One of my requirements was I wanted a, a berth on the bridge so that when you have new crew members you can sleep up here while they're on the watch so they don't have to go very far to get you if they have a problem or a question. I have wiring diagrams for all the parts that are in here. The wires are numbered. Ain't that nice? Yeah. Huh? Almost like a damn airplane, huh? Uh-huh. And like I said, they're all numbered. The doors are Dutch doors and hatches. Um, this is a little ship. It has watertight doors all down. It's got five compartments front to back. Crumple zone with Kevlar in it in the front. This is a blue water boat. It's, it's not a coastal cruiser. <laughs> then we moved up to the flybridge. Got all the controls and everything up here. So you get the autopilot, RD30, the computer screen. Uh, go back and forth. Throttles, bow thruster, stabilizers, every, work everything from up here. This is kind of a nice place if you have to dock on the port side. It's also nice to, coming into some of those coral passages that aren't very wide. You can see pretty well from up here. And there's a nice little sun deck behind the flybridge. Now down into the engine compartment. The main propulsion is twin 6068 John Deere's. They're low RPM and they don't load up. The motors are 160 horsepower each. Back here is something that you don't always see and they don't put them in anymore, but they make for a really smooth ride. It's called an aqua drive. And so instead of the, the propeller pushing or pulling on the engine, it pushes and pulls on this and the engine just sits here and floats. You see the little tiny motor mounts? It's just nothing. So there's no vibration that is pushed from the engines back into the hull. Uh, hydraulic system, it runs the bow thruster and the stabilizers. There's three pumps. There's one on each engine and then there's one on the 20. We have two generators, a 12 and a 20. This is our salon. It's very homey, a little crowded, but we have everything we need. Storage underneath there. This table comes up, makes into a big table with two TVs. This pops up, there's another TV here. It's a very comfortable boat. Our rugs came from Tibet, and then all our pictures, China, Machu Picchu, uh, Yangtze River. We've done a lot of traveling. Into the galley, and you women would love this galley. You have a trash compactor, dishwasher, garbage disposal, double sink, refrigerator, freezer, fabulous stove, microwave. I mean, you got all the convenience that you ever want. Lots of storage. There is so much storage on this boat. When we first got it, we had to write everything down and keep track of it. And there's a large pantry here that's really full, <laughs> as you can see. This is office, bedroom, laundry room. We have a big washer and dryer, and then an extra bed, and his office is there. And then you come into our room. It's uh, very comfortable. Big bed, lots of storage. Cupboards, 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 cupboards. And we have here our bathroom. Big sit-down shower. Welcome to my room. <laughs> I, I'm very lucky to have such a nice, spacious place. Uh, I mean, I have a closet, lots of drawers, lots of storage, a uh, TV, and uh, you can come through here and have the, the bathroom. We have a shower, I have a sit-down shower, everything you need. I'm a lucky girl. <laughs> and then, of course, you have Bubba's room. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for uh, taking the time to show me your boat. Everything, it's an amazing boat, and 
it's been a pleasure getting to know you guys and uh, wish we had more time here together, but unfortunately we gotta go. So. And thank you, Bobby. This has been great. We'll see you again somewhere. I hope so. I hope so. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. All right, guys. Ah, give me a hug. Okay. Bye, sweetie. Oh. All right. Ah. <laughs> Smooth seas, tight lines. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> This is not a paid endorsement, it's simply a Kickstarter idea I was approached with and I think it's pretty neat. The link is in the show notes and please leave a comment down below on what you think. Our oceans are sick. In the Pacific, a giant garbage island floats about five times as big as Germany. 80,000 tons of garbage, especially plastic. So we get the plastic out of the water. But where to bring it? To us. We turn the recycled plastic into fashion for you in a jacket that accompanies you back on the water. Sealed and waterproof zippers. Easy to use mask. Pockets, waterproof up to five meters fluorescent silicon stripe and anti-slip mesh. Natürlich ist es ein bisschen verrückt und natürlich ist es auch ganz schön ambitioniert. Und natürlich werde ich auch die Ozeane nicht alleine säubern können, aber ich werde mein möglichstes tun und meinen Teil dazu beitragen, dass sich was ändert und das ist die Vision von Lamarcan. Namaka, Seaborne Performance Jacket.